We're going for a three-peat here. Why, hello. And today we'll be learning how to make one of my favorite drinks of all time. That's right, Kool-Aid Single. Honest book section. Yes, you are the first, first time. I wanted to get on and cover the book by Lewis Howes that is titled The School of Greatness. This shit I've been recently discovering, been finding him through his podcast. The book itself is uh, almost like a, like a cliff notes, if you will, a like tools of titans type of, of literature where he's collected about like 200 of his podcasts or close to that number and compiled it and like looked at the data and synthesized it to like the most important things and structures about becoming great or becoming uh, an expert or pro at whatever you do or whatever you want to do and, and talking with specific people in his life that inhibit that, exhibit that I mean. And there was three parts I just wanted to cover on it and to start was flow state he mentions in the book and that's somewhere between where a lot of sports, what's well, called athletes in general of a certain caliber reach that where no matter what happens they are in like a was it a chi, the mentality, the wiring of what, what they will do, what they're going to do, and they'll surpass that sometimes. Someone like a Phelps would envision them winning the race, how many seconds it would take, how many, the way they would dive, they would envision all that, and they would get the flow state, the right adrenaline, the right focus, the pupil dilation, all that, and they'd find it. These, these, I spoke to some specific people in the book about it, and, and not even just athletes themselves, but in other fields that encompass that. And I thought it was interesting, and, and that alone was worth the read in the book. The second thing in there was about his, uh, his brother, um, Christian Howells, who was like a master jazz violinist. And his story of coming back from doing several, like five or so years in jail, pretty much right out of high school, and some issues with drug dealings, I believe, and how he came back hard, hard, like from the ground running, from the ground sprinting. Matter of fact, I'm performing anywhere and everywhere he could to perfect his violin skills. And he, like, we're talking like he would go to places, random ass bars, clubs that didn't even have open mics and just would perform for them. And now you'll, you'll see his stuff online, his, his covers, he's performed with high people in, in that field. His main thing, the main thing in that section was about hustling. And everyone does, of like getting your shit no matter what, rock bottom to death. And I, that really hit, that hit me to the surface. So that's at least two reasons you gotta check this book out. The third to me, that kind of helped me, and or I got involved in the in the beginning of the book. It talks about kind of having mantras or mission statements. So you got to write down like the things about it's like four or five things you ultimately want to do day to day, month to month, year to year, decade to decade. There's a person in there, uh, Angel Martinez, that they he talks to, that he has like six of them that he does. He writes it, or he lives by them as much as possible. It's something, I'll put my examples in the, in the link or something, kind of like keywords, key things that you understand, you get, and you know what you're trying to do. If it's, if it's something where it's like, one would be to tell the truth as much as possible, the next one would be to help people out in any capacity, shape, or form and so on and so forth. But those are the three main things. I know there's some action behind the camera with cutting trees down and yes, but I was like, I was like, F it man, like just let's put some shit out. Just wanna do some random shit. I want, I want you to know like no matter what's going on, we're, we're, we're doing work, all right? On this book section, check out Lewis Howes, the School of Greatness podcast and book section, book. You're gonna take a sip and depending on the sip you take, will depend on how sugary or watery your Kool-Aid drink will be.